What's good, YouTube? We got a lot of hot news stories as well as hot new music to get to, including YG's photos from In Jail or a picture from In Jail has surfaced online. And rapper Boogs is publicly now addressing the issue that has gone on while he's been incarcerated with Biz Loke. We got all of that, plus all the new Canadian music videos dropping right now. This is news from the six where we hit you with that real Toronto shit, and it's your host, Friday Ricky Dread. Now, before we get to any of these news stories, I need you to all do me a favor and please subscribe hit that subscription button as well as the notification bell next to it so you know when we're dropping new videos and we drop maybe three, four, five, six videos a day. And while you're there, make sure to hit all on the notification bell so you'll know when we're dropping new videos right when they drop. Now this week, you're gonna be getting a list of all the new Canadian music videos that have dropped within the last seven days or so all 500 views and up, and we need you, the people, to let us know who you think is going to be the number one song in Canada this week, all right? So let us know in the comment section below, comment gang strong, who is your favorite rapper or what's your favorite song on the list, and we'll be able to tabulate those votes and figure out who is gonna be the number one video in Canada this week on the World's Most Smoked Out podcast, the We Love Hip Hop podcast, Thursday morning on all audio platforms. But we're also going to be getting to the news stories, including what I mentioned in the beginning, the YG story, as well as what's going on with Boogs behind bars. But let's get to this Canadian music, new Canadian music video releases. Let's go. I'm on a mission and you pray I don't make it there. They say I'm evil and I OGs, they rape me. Treat ops like babies. My head is aimed to blow. My head is aimed to I'm doing it for me. Man, I do it because I can. I do it for the kids who meet me with shows. Legacies, what's defining? Making sure that you're fit for duty soon as you sign in. With my dog, don't care if you're wrong, we gon' make it right. Quick to judge any in on yeah. In the trap, they phone be lit. Came from the bomb, go out to shit, get the shit from my body, cause I really. I put my death before the sun. I done see some shit up in the trenches, still got trauma. Nigga, I'm gon' make it out. Who I trust or need? Niggas, they front and they eyes. Bitch, ain't minding my own business. Bet you never even knew that I got my own business. I'm a corporate nigga. I'm just out. I'm the type to go jump in the crowd. She be saying she want us to go out. I'm the nigga, let the flame come out. All I wanna love, they wanna fall apart. All I wanna do, all up in my heart. Bitch, just maintain my innocence. Pray for shit that can't come in. Like half the people that used to know your honor, this is fraudulent. Perfect. She looking perkin, skin brown, bourbon. I'ma need that visa. If you ain't coming correct, if you ain't coming with check, then you ain't coming legit. Cause of a handsome plane. Yeah, she already know. Yeah, she already know. She go bust it down, bust it below, bust it below. I bought our industry. Like, we don't know how it is in reality. We be real. It's obvious she ended up being a hoe. Why I'm releasing the number two four? Cause I know that they love when I'm kicking every decimal. If I pull the trigger, his condition getting critical. I, I, I ain't gonna lie. Pissed that way I'm clutching on my heater. Mama asked me where I got that pistol in my reach, cuz I'm. Now, I hope you like those videos that we just played in the montage before. And like I said, let us know who you think should be the number one song in Canada this week. But let's get to the news. And the first thing in news, rapper YG's picture has been floating around now online, a photo of him in jail. Um, what looks like, from what I can see, looks like a court appearance, a video court appearance, um, where he's sitting in a box um, in, in, in while he's being detained and it is now surfaced online. Now the picture was first released via the page Six Tunnel and then reposted via Keep Six Solid. Now YG has been dealing with some legal issues, first starting with an arrest that happened in the Yukon Territory where he was arrested for drugs and then later released and then afterwards arrested here in Toronto for a firearms offense. Now, there's been a public ban on the court case, so there hasn't been a lot of information that's been released from there. However, this picture has been a very rare occasion for something that has a public ban to be released online. Now, a lot of his fans are looking forward to seeing what's going on with YG, when his bail hearing is going to be, and even if he's released on the streets, okay? Um, we're going to be keeping you updated, as well as all of the other blog pages that are out here about what's going on with him. But 
hold your head to YG, you know what I'm saying, dealing with these legal issues. Like I said in, in previous videos, YG's been out here burning up the scene with a multitude of songs, including Bantu Ginny, as well as Blue T. And he's been out here just doing his thing, you know, uh, holding down the BFR gaming and a whole bunch of other things, building and trying to do different things for his life. So let's hope that these legal situations don't put him too far back and he's able to come back to it and get to the music. All right. So, so salute to YG. Next story. Now, in our next story, we love hip hop alumni Boogs finally addresses the rumors that have been floating around about a defuz that he had received from Biz Loke while he's been detained right now in the South Detention. Now, there has been a, um, a rumor, you know, via Instagram, where a, a post came out from Chromas or from, from Biz Loke sending a message back and forth to Chromas advising that he had given Boogs a defuz while they were both, while they, I guess, both bumped into each other now that they're both detained. Now at first, the first reactions was that this rumor, that this was a rumor and that it was cap, but now there has been final confirmation that, you know, that I guess that he caught a death as while he has been inside. Now from the messages that we see here, we have two messages here from Boog saying, one, that one punch hurt, no cap. And in the second message saying, niggas 31 chasing clout. Now my thing and my angle on this is not even about the issue itself. Um, when it comes to rappers who are right now dealing with legal issues as well as using Instagram, in my opinion, there's a lot more important things to deal with than, you know, wondering what's going on with your ops or, you know, letting people know on the outside um, what's going on on the inside. OK, there's been a lot of rappers who've been detained over the last few months or the last couple of years, and they've been taking the opportunities um, at any chance to get on Instagram, you know, whether it's the flipper issue that we've seen um, with him on Instagram, you know, there has been a, a release of, F, of FB Neat um, as well, um, and a few uh, FB Neat and one of the Talib twins on Instagram. And my, in my opinion, and just in my opinion, I feel that when it comes to stuff like that, especially when it gets released online, you know, the media picks it up, everybody starts talking about it, it doesn't really help the case. OK, um, from a person who's dealt with uh, incarceration myself, you know, these can cause raids on your range, looking for cell phones and all different types of things. So my advice to all the rappers out there, and I know it might not be sounding the coolest type of advice, I would advise stay away from the phones, do your time. You know what I'm saying? Try to be, become a more productive person while you're doing your time so that when you get outside, you'll be able to hit the road and be able to take over the world the way that you want to do it. OK, however, when it comes to being behind bars, you know, and watching Instagram and seeing what's going on on the outside, I can imagine that that can be kind of tolling on, on you emotionally as well as mentally because you're keeping up with what's going on outside. But you can't get outside and do the thing, the same things as your friends are. OK, but salute to everybody who's who's doing their time. Hold your head, hold your head to all the innocent who are doing their time, as well as the people who are just dealing with circumstances and stuff like that. But like I said, once again, stay away from the phones. It, you'll be better off. And not to, don't get me wrong, there's a few people and a, and a lot of people who have, you know, people on the outside who are controlling their accounts for them. However, you know, when it comes to, you know, focusing on what's going on with this rapper outside and, you know, you know, what's going on, you know, addressing, let me let the people know what's happening with me inside. If it's not about the music, just leave it alone. All right. But that's all we got for news today. Make sure to let us know who you think should be the number one song in Canada this week. All right. Also, hit me up on all my social media platforms at Friday Ricky Dread. That's D R E D. And make sure to hit us up on our Instagram page, We Love Hip Hop Network. And hit us up on our website, We Love Hip Hop.ca. This is news from the six where we hit you with that real Toronto shit. And I'm out. Peace.